Thank you to everyone who bothered to look at the uh, first uh, Matthias Asato video, including uh, including Matthias himself. Um, and if you're watching this one, please turn off. Uh, yeah. So, very helpfully, um, people have pointed out that he uses uh, a Vemuram Janray, I think it's called. Uh, which is one of these very expensive pedals, but the uh, word is that it's actually a clone of a Timmy um, Which luckily enough the HX Stomp has a version of um, As far as I've read the Timmy is actually a unique circuit um, I have had one very briefly um, But I didn't have it long enough to uh, really get anything out of it and it was at a time when I wasn't really that pedal orientated so maybe at one stage I'll get another one and see what's what's what with that um, but yeah so this I've uh, moved on to this is JC Matt 2 patch and if you got the initial ones patches from the last video there was a Octaver that I put at the start of this patch just because I thought it sounded cool um, but anyway what I've done is I've altered this patch slightly so in the folder it will be JC Matt 2 um, but what I've done is I've put a Timmy at the start of the chain um, and if I can just scroll over uh, I've got the gain on that at 3.9 and then the bass and treble cuts are right in the middle and I've got the clipping mode is down and the level at 6.3 now I have zero idea about how that correlates with what Mateus is doing um, yeah and then I've also, I can talk about, I've got the German Mahadeva, however you say that, um, which is supposedly a Bogner Shiva, I think. And I've got the drive on that on 0.6, so that's pretty much where it needs to be to actually be fairly clean. Um, the bass I've got on 5.8, the mids I've got at 5, treble I've got at 8.8, .8, and the presence I've got at 10 so set fairly bright, the master is at 9.9, .9, sag is at 7.7 .7. I think everything else is stock but I did swap out the mic so I'm micing it with a 160 ribbon if that's interesting to people uh, I haven't done anything with the high cuts yet because this seems to work fairly nicely um, so the way I've got it set up you're using your volume knob <laughs> Thing I did like about this was that the Timmy seems to be the key to this 
I can't really describe what it is that's going on with his tone, but it sounds like there's something... So there's enough top end that's cutting through, and it seems cleanish that it sounds like you're hearing, you know, a Strat or a single coil tone through it. So it stays kind of thick, but also thin at the same time. That's, and the way in my head I'm thinking about it is like the sound's folding in over itself, but I don't know. That's not a very good way of describing it, but that's just a feeling I get when I hear it. Uh, that's not a bad thing, obviously, it's a great tone. So I think this tone is slightly closer, but for some reason, it seems quite thin. Um, and I might try and boost the bass, see if that doesn't so the thing is when you play lightly kind of got I think a little bit closer you leave your feedback I'd love to hear what you um, also so that's um, snapshot C snapshot B is Crazy amounts of gain thing. Um, of increasing the um, the amp drive, um, reducing the treble and presence of touch, and also, yeah, that's all that's doing. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. I'm just going to grab the Strat a sec and play a couple of things, just to see. I was using a Strat in the last video.
playing there for you. Uh. <laughs> sound fully open and then this any closer further away I might experiment with um, changing out some IRs or something next or just using the IR that I normally use uh, just see if I prefer that um, but yeah to my mind that seems a little bit closer <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 